With the unhealthy air outside, some Utahns are starting to take precautions, even wearing masks to filter the air that they breathe. But do they really help? New specialist Andrew Adams went to find out. But first he hit the streets to see how people would react to him wearing a mask. <laughs> I donned a couple different masks and walked down Main Street. When my glasses weren't fogging up, I felt people's eyes on me. And sure enough, they were judging. Yeah, it looks kind of strange, yeah. Goofy. Kind of a goofball. <laughs> but, you know, if it makes them feel better, why not? For some, the social stigma is far outweighed by the damage they feel the pollution is doing to their bodies. But what about these masks? Do they really help? It's not a realistic thing to think that you're going to walk around 24 hours a day with a mask. This doctor told us masks are better used for short periods of time, at times of peak pollution. But the kind of mask is important. A basic surgical mask? The simple surgical masks that people wear over their face are really not useful at all. Instead, she recommends more heavy-duty N95 masks. That are really um, designed to screen out the, these really tiny particles. You can find a 30-pack on Amazon.com for under 15 bucks. Or... You can get involved with kind of the serious respirators, and those can be much more expensive. <laughs> At Beehive Bicycles, owner Greg Steele says a mask given to Olympic athletes who trek to Beijing has been flying off his shelves. The, the ones that we stock mostly for riding has a plastic air valve that lets you expire air through the mask, and then it's actually a cloth cover, so it actually breathes a lot more and the air moves in and out. At a little over 35 bucks a piece, he says people who bike to work like him, but so do walkers. It filters out a lot more the PM 2.5 that's really the problem around here. The inversion is kind of natural, but the PM 2.5 is not. Doctors don't scoff like some passers-by do, but even at best, they say pollution masks are only truly right for some people some of the time. I think for the average person, um, it's probably um, too much of a bother. Andrew Adams, Castle 5 News.